time is it? It's just after eight. Oh no! Don't worry. Uh, do I look good? You look terrific. <sighs> Now tell me about this date. Will you have a nice little table for two? I think Chan is also asking two of his friends. Oh, the more the merrier. <laughs> What will you eat? It's an Indian restaurant. I'll probably order a curry. Delicious! I adore Indian cooking. Do you? Do you recommend I try anything special? Why don't you try a biryani? What is a biryani exactly? It's a fabulous rice dish. It's a bit similar to your Spanish paella. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. And will you have something to drink? I'd like some wine tonight. Do you like white or red wine? It depends on the curry. Very sensible. <laughs> Now, don't drink too much. No, no, I won't. I'll only have one or two glasses. Oh, I'm nervous for the time. Don't be nervous about the time. You have loads of time. Let's see. Oh, my heavens! Eight ten. I'm going to be late. No, you're not. I will call the very nice minicab, mm -hmm. and he will be here in no time. Hello. Yes. Good evening. Yes, this is Agatha Johnson here. Fine, thank you. How are you? Glad to hear it. Yes, can you send one of your best drivers? That's right, Chesworth Gardens, number seven. Ask him to ring the bell. How long will it be? Okay, thanks. Good evening. How long will it be? She says the cab will be here in five minutes. You look like a model. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, how much do you think the cab fare will be? Probably around ten quid. Quid? Oh, pounds.、Uh, do you have enough money with you? Yes. Thanks. Good. Oh, there he is now. Okay. <laughs> Bye. See you. Night, night. Have a good time. Harold, oh, I miss you. At last, you had a long sleep. Yes. <laughs> What's the time? It's almost twelve thirty. Oof. It is so nice to sleep. Yes. <laughs> And what about last night? Tell me everything. <laughs> There were four of us: Chan, his friend Jerry, and Jerry's girlfriend Kate. Oh, is Kate nice? Yes, she's very nice, very funny.、Mm. She's at nursing school. Oh, how old is she?、Mm. She is twenty. And what about your dinner? I like Indian food. It is very.、Um, how do you say this? Like, <sighs> yeah, spicy. Oh, <laughs> yes. Indian food can be hot and spicy. And、uh, we had some white wine from Kent. White wine with gas. Sparkling wine. Oh. Yes, England does have some very good sparkling wines. <laughs> Jerry and Kate only speak English. That's good practice for you. Yes, but it's very difficult and very tiring. Well, you see, we have coffee. <laughs> I need to ask your opinion about something. Yes. <clears throat> Harold says I should get a job too. You want a job? Well, it gets lonely here during the day. Victor and you are both at school. You have a fun job at the video store. Oh, you want to work at the video store too? No, I want to work as a salesperson, selling accessories and and clothes. Oh, you're good at that. You think so? Yes. Will you work in a boutique? 
No, I'd like to work in a big store, a department store. Oh. See, I'm a good shopper. I think I'll be a good seller, too. You will be excellent. Help me practice my sales pitch before you leave for work and before Victor gets home. What time does Victor get home? He should be back around 6. Hmm. Okay. This is the company I'm going to apply to. Mm -hmm. Churchill's. They sell very nice women's clothing, and I should get a big discount myself. <laughs> <clears throat> Can I help you, madam? Um, no thanks, I'm just looking. Why don't you try on this dress? It suits you. Hmm. It is a pretty dress, but it's too big. Oh, madam, we have it in smaller sizes. Do you have it in another color? It comes in blue, green, and pink. How much is it? Madam, it's on sale. It's only 42 pounds. Hmm, okay, I'll take it. Very good choice, madam. You see? You're a natural salesperson. I'm going to apply at Churchill's tomorrow. Oh, okay. But don't say anything to Victor. No, I won't. I want to surprise him. Okay. <laughs>your classes good thank you how is your art school oh it's okay I had a test today a test mm. a test in art history that's interesting mm. what about me what about my day oh uh, Aggie dear how was your day Betty take you shopping no actually no shopping no shopping mm -hmm. What on earth happened? I got a job. <laughs> Where? When? Doing what? How? <laughs> when do you start? I start the day after tomorrow. I'm working 10 till 5, Monday to Friday. Congratulations. Mr. James is my supervisor. Very nice man. A real gentleman. Where are you working? Church Hills, off St. James Park. I'm a sales assistant in the ladies' department. Well, that's handy. You can take the circle line. Does Harold know? It was his idea. Is this a permanent job? I'm working over the Christmas period. Mm. They need more staff. Mr. James says perhaps I can stay on after the holidays. Good. Oh, what are your plans for the holidays, Elena? Will you spend Christmas with us? Yes. Please, Elena? <laughs> I'd love to, but my classes finish on the 21st. Mm. Well, I have Christmas Day and Boxing Day off. I'll cook a turkey. <laughs> that is very kind, but my return ticket is for the 23rd. It just seems so soon. Mm. Oh, dear. Perhaps the weather will be bad. London is famous for its fog. Maybe your flight home will be delayed or, or canceled. They could close the airport. You simply can't go. <laughs> Agatha, Elena's here for eight weeks. I'm not going yet. Mm. Well, we'll see. Mm. Victor, what about your classes? Uh, we finish up this year on December 21st after my final exams. What day of the week is New Year's Eve? It's Monday this year. Mm. Monday. Oh, it's so sad. Everything ends. Let's take a photo of Elena. Mm -hmm. Oh, Elena and Victor, together. Oh, Agatha. Uh, smile. Please, no. Smile. Uh, there. Can I take a photo of you, Agatha? Oh, dear, no. Oh, please. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what 
are your plans for today, Elena? Uh, I only have two classes before lunch. Then I'm free all afternoon. Oh, you are lucky. Mm -hmm. Don't you like your job? <laughs> like it? I adore it. <laughs> Mr. James says I'm his best sales assistant. And what will you do with your afternoon? There's a, a fantastic Kubrick festival on. 2001 A Space Odyssey is playing at the Odeon Multiplex. Where is the Odeon? It's on the Tottenham Court Road. That's a brilliant film. I adore Roddy McDowell. You mean Malcolm McDowell. And he's not in 2001. The star is Keir Dulley. Exactly! He's such a doll. What kind of movie is it? It's uh, science fiction. Uh, you must see it. Do you know what time the shows are? Uh, no, but we can look in the paper. Mm. There are shows at uh, 1.35, mm -hmm. 3.45, and 5.55. Is it a long film? It runs uh, 160 minutes. Yes, mm -hmm. nearly three hours. What time do you finish class? At 12.30. Well, you could make the show at 1.35. Yes, but I need to go to the bank today, too. Mm -hmm. I have my first paycheck. Ah, you need to cash your check. Yes, uh, I want to send some money home, too. It's my little brother's birthday next week. Well, you should be able to make the banks before they close at 5. Just go to the nearest bank, to the cinema. Okay. And uh, don't forget to bring your passport. You'll need it for identification. You'll need to fill in a money transfer. Mm -hmm. Are you taking Elena to the movies? Um, no, Agatha. I'm studying for my final exam. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. I will. Yes, enjoy your movie. I'm also going to send some money home. I got my first paycheck yesterday. Oh, wonderful! <laughs> What's the exchange rate for pounds to... Pesos? Uh, Spain has euro currency. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> How silly of me. Yes. Have a good day. Thanks. Yes, Mr. Charles, this is Elena Fuentes. Yes, the teacup. Is it ready? Okay. I'll pick it up in the afternoon. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. There is a big problem. What's wrong? That teacup. Yes? That horrible, ugly tea set. But I, uh... Betty gave it to me as a birthday present. I hate that tea set. You do? I had hoped it was disappearing. Yesterday, one of the cups was missing. Yes? And now, today, the teacup is back! <laughs> Elena, sweetie, are you okay? Um, oh, uh, the bathroom. What about the bathroom? There's a lot of water on the floor. Hi. Hi. Are you all right? I have a headache and a stomachache. <clears throat> oh, you poor girl. Maybe you have the flu. Victor! What did you ask Elena? Did she say no? <laughs> Stop it, Aggie. Elena isn't well. What's wrong? Oh, my poor darling. You feel hot. She has a slight temperature. And she says she has stomach aches, too. She needs to lie down. Maybe I'll go to the chemist's and uh, get something for her headache. 
Yes, good idea. Okay. And when you get back, you can fix the bathroom? What's the matter with the bathroom? There's a leak under the sink. A big leak. Oh, no. I turned off the water. Okay, I'll be back soon. I'll make some tea. A Agatha. Yes? Betty's ugly teacup is back. I know. It's strange, isn't it? Victor and Elena. Victor and Lala. Malika. Amira. Falinka. Michao. Katyushka. How are you feeling today? Oh, much better, thank you. I'm so glad. Um, who are these girls? Which girls, Elena? The girls in the book. Oh, them. Girls we know. Hmm. She's a good friend of mine. Her name is Lala. Lala? Yes. You didn't hear about Lala? She's Turkish. No, I don't think so. Lala stayed with us last year for a couple of months. And where is Lala now? Lala's back in Turkey. She has a nice little flat in the center of Ankara. Oh, and she's Malika. She's Swedish. Oh, and what does Malika do? Malika is an airline hostess now. Lovely girl. She has gorgeous blonde hair and the bluest eyes. Oh. The bathroom sink is okay for now, but we really should call a plumber. That's Agatha's Almost album. Sorry? Agatha invites foreign students to stay here and then tries to marry them off to me. It's her biggest project. Right, Aggie? <laughs> well, it would be nice. Don't worry, Elena. I promise you they're all still living. Of course. Of course they are. Good morning. 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 So, is it okay to visit you at work? That would be lovely. I can show you the new scarf collection. Oh, are there any left? You didn't buy them all? Oh, don't be silly. I only have three or four. Is Churchill's a very big store? Yes, it's uh, huge. It's one of the oldest in London. Oh. It's got five floors. And anyway, I'd be crazy not to use my staff discount. Of course, <laughs> you would. Do you have a break in the afternoon? I have a tea break at 3. Why don't you come a half hour before? 2.30? Yes, and I can show you around my department. Where is the ladies' department? On the fourth floor. Just take the lift mm -hmm. and walk through children's wear. Okay, can I buy you a cup of tea? Oh, yes! Let's go to Churchill's Tea Room in the Basement. We have the yummiest cream cakes. Mm. Mm -hmm. What else do they sell in Churchill's? Perfume, jewelry, menswear. We've got household goods and electronical appliances, books and toys. There's a large furniture selection on the top floor, and we also carry electronic equipment. <laughs> well, uh, ladies, have a nice day. Thanks, you too. Wait, is today Tuesday? Yes, it is. Oh, dear, I have to be at work early today. Mr. James asked me to help out in the children's shoe department. Good. I need to buy some children's shoes. Who for? My niece, Mercedes. How old is she? She's 12. Uh-huh. And what size shoe does she take? Um, she's a Spanish 36. I think that's a three here. Okay. Oh, that will be fun to choose shoes for her. Mm -hmm. What colors does Maria like? 
Mercedes wears a lot of pink. Pink? Oh, she's still a little girl. Agatha, you need to be at work early today, don't oh, you? Yes, I must go. <laughs> okay. Bye. I'll see you later. Are you okay, Agatha? What's wrong, Aggie? Mr. James says I'm always late. Oh. Mr. James says I'm always shopping. Oh, no. Mr. James says I don't take care of the customers. Mr. James says I should look for another job. Oh, <laughs> oh. I'm so sorry, Agatha. Don't worry, it, it's okay. I'm so unhappy. Why don't you call Harold? Yes, that's a good idea. <laughs> Why don't you visit Harold? <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perhaps you could meet him at Oxford. I don't like Oxford. All oh, those nasty students. Maybe you two can meet somewhere for the weekend. Oh, the weekend? Mm-hmm. That would be nice. Mm -hmm. Where would you like to go? I've always wanted to see the Isle of Wight. Let me call my travel agent. Yes. Yes. Do so. Good afternoon. Can you suggest a nice hotel on the Isle of Wight? Agatha, do you want three star or four star? Oh, I don't need much. Mm -hmm. As long as they have a nice view. Yes, that's fine. I'd like to book a double room for two, arriving Friday evening and checking out on Sunday. Perfect. Oh, and Harold will need internet access. And I definitely want a hotel with a spa. Does the Solent Star Hotel have a spa? Okay, fine, perfect. I'd like to take a nice tour on Sunday. Do they have a tour of Osborne House? Can you organize a tour on Sunday for two to Osborne House? Okay. Can the guests leave their luggage at the hotel until Sunday afternoon? Okay. Yes. That's fine. Yes. Johnson. No tea. That's right. Johnson. Okay. Can you bill my credit card and then they will settle later? Okay. Yes, fine. Just a moment. What a nice surprise this will be for Harold. Oh, yes, darling Harry. He works too hard. Mm. Well, you can both relax this weekend. It will be very romantic. Mm. <laughs> oh, Elena. Yes? I don't have anything to wear. I'll need to buy a new outfit for the weekend. Do you have everything? <laughs> Victor, what time does my train leave? Oh, here. See your ticket? It leaves at 12.35. From where? Which platform? Agatha, remember, you need to take the underground to Waterloo. And then you'll have to look at the monitors to see on which platform the 12.35 leaves for Portsmouth. Okay? How long is the trip from Waterloo to Portsmouth? Um, it's about an hour and a half. And at Portsmouth, I get off? Yes. You take the ferry to ride on the Isle of Wight. What time is the ferry? Here. You have an open ticket, which means you can take any of the ferries. Well, well how often do they run? There's one at uh, 1445, 
1515, 1545, and 1615. Uh, they leave every 30 minutes. And how long is he? It's about a quarter of an hour. Oh, well, that's easy. Yeah. And you can sightsee in Portsmouth for a while. There's the tower, the keys. The, the keys? Uh, yes, it's near the port. Oh. Oh, the keys. Yes. There are excellent restaurants and shops there, I think. Is Portsmouth a nice place? Yes, Portsmouth's a lovely town. I may go to the Keys for afternoon tea. <laughs> Harold says he'll be at the hotel at about 7. Oh, yes. I'll have plenty of time. Mm -hmm. You enjoy yourself. Oh, can I leave my luggage somewhere when I go to the Keys? I don't know. There should be a luggage room at the station or the ferry. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I hope you have a great weekend. The weather this weekend is supposed to be fine. That's fortunate. Yes, you'll be able to walk around. And what are you two doing this weekend? Oh, I'm working and I want to go to see a museum or an art gallery. Um, there's a good exhibition on at the Tate Modern. Oh. Victor, you should take Elena. Show her the sights. Um. I need to study for my final exams this weekend, Agatha. Yes, you must study. Okay, Agatha, let's get you to the station. I'm ready. I'll carry your bags for you. Okay. Bye, Elena. See you. Bye. Have a nice time. You too. Bye-bye. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Anything uh, interesting in the paper? I want to see some exhibitions. Wow. Well, there's the uh, Tate Modern. Oh, yes. I'm going to that. Oh, okay. I'm meeting a ton. I want to see a few things. Well, you won't have uh, much time if you finish work at 7. I finish early. I'm uh, working from 9 to 1. Oh, I see. But I'm confused, though. There are many places to see. Uh, can I help you? Please. Okay, what are you more uh, interested in? Uh, literature, art, or history? I'm interested in uh, art and literature. Okay. Can I make a suggestion? Yes. Okay. The uh, Tate Modern closes late on Saturdays, uh -huh. uh, but uh, most of the other museums close around 5. So, okay, see here? Uh, I suggest you take yes. the tube to Barbican, then you go alongside here, uh, Aldersgate Street mm -hmm. and uh, left into the Museum of London. Okay. Okay. Oh, and, and right next to it is St. Paul's Cathedral. Oh. You must see that. It's very famous. Mm -hmm. uh, then you can walk uh, across the Millennium Bridge. There's uh, fantastic views of the uh, embankment uh, uh, on the area around the Thames. Brilliant old and new architecture. Lots happening. I wish you could come too. So do I, Alina. Um, which street do I mm. take to the bridge? Oh, uh, you just go along here. Uh, you can't miss it. Oh, and then which direction? Uh, do I go straight here? Oh, uh, no, no. You, you should walk along the river here and then turn right. And that's called Queen's Walk. You'll see the Shakespeare Globe Theatre. Oh, Globe. Yes. <gasps> Um, I suggest you get to the Tate by 7. It's a big place. And you can catch the tube home from Blackfriars here or Southwark here. Sounds good. Thank you. I really hope you enjoy it. I think I will. Sure. Okay. Can you meet me at the library? Okay, great. See you. Good morning. That was Sam. S Sam's my friend at St. Martin's. He's helping me with technical stuff 
for our exams. That's nice of him. <laughs> How was yesterday? Oh, the walk and the museum you suggested were fabulous. I loved the Tate. So did Chang. I'm glad you liked it. I also had a good day at work yesterday. Oh, what happened at work? Oh, they asked me to work in their cafe, the cafe upstairs in the video store. Oh, that's marvelous. Congratulations. I don't know. What do you mean? I don't know how to be a waitress. No, it's not very difficult. You don't think so? No, you'll be good at it. I will? Mm-hmm. Sure, you'll just have to learn the names of the things on the menu. Mm. What if they ask me questions? Do you have their menu? Yes, this is it. Uh, let me see. Okay, let's say I'd like something to eat. Oh. Mm -hmm. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like a hamburger. Oh. Uh, no, make that a cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. Does the cheeseburger come with chips? I don't know. Let me see. Yes, it does. And uh, what do you have to drink? I'm having coffee. And not you, Elena, the cafe. Oh, cafe. <laughs> yes. Um, we have coffee, tea, fruit juices, soft drinks, and uh, mineral water. I'll have an orange juice, no ice. Oh, no ice. How much is that? Which? How much is the bill? My total. Oh, let me see. Uh, twelve. That will be? That will be uh, twelve pounds and seventy-five. That's so expensive. I hope you don't say that to your customers. No, no. You will be great. You will make much more money in the cafe. I will? Sure. You'll make loads of tips. Mm. No, I've got to run. Um, bye. Bye. Good luck. You too. Hi. Hello. Mm. Did you accept that waitressing job today? Oh, yes, mm. I did. Thank you. How was your day? Oh, it was uh, normal. Did you study for your exams? Not exactly. What did you do? I made something. Oh. For you. For me? What is it? Open it. It's a drawing of me. It's... You drew this? It's very beautiful. You're very beautiful. I'm home! Welcome back. Aggie, hi. How was your trip? Oh, we had a wonderful time. That's good. Uh, what was right like? The place was fantastic. Huh. What did you do there? Did you go to the house? We had a tour of the Osborne house, yes. And the hotel was comfortable? Oh, yes. Harold didn't want to leave our room. <laughs> I'm sure he didn't. <laughs> what else did you see? Oh, the most fantastic shops, ceramics, craft works. I got almost all of my Christmas shopping done. So what's been happening here? What's new? Mm, nothing. nothing. I see. Agatha, are you okay? You seem a little sad. Well, I rearranged the furniture, but I always feel sad when I leave Harold. I know what you need. To have a shower? No, you need to have a break. A few days away, at a beauty farm. 
That's a good idea, Victor. Mm -hmm. Are you doing anything tomorrow? Well, I, uh, I haven't got anything planned. I'm not doing anything special. I think I'll send you to the Burbank Beauty Farm in Somerset. Mm -hmm. Well, I... Oh, but who's going to look after this place while I'm away? I've got to clean the oven, vacuum the carpets, wash the curtains, and then there's ironing to be done. Well, Agatha, I'll do that for you. Oh, but you don't know where I keep the mop, the vacuum cleaner, the iron. Come on, Agatha, I know. I live here, remember? It's decided. Pack your bags. You're going to a beauty farm. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to call Betty now and see if she wants to come. I'm so excited. <laughs> <clears throat> um, it's nice being alone. Yes, just the two of us. Mm, what shall we do? We can move a little closer. But we promised Agatha we would clean the house. Well, we can do it very quickly. And I'd like to change some of the furniture while Agatha's away. She changed things without asking me. And I'd like this house to, to say something about me. It's not just Agatha's house. Right. Okay. Uh, chores now. Uh, chores? Well, what are chores? Oh, chores are the little jobs around the house that we need to do. Oh, I see. Yeah, remember, sweeping the floor, dusting the furniture, doing the shopping. I love shopping, but that's not a chore. <laughs> doing the shopping is very different from going shopping. Doing the shopping is food shopping. Oh, that reminds me. I have to go to the supermarket to get some housekeeping things. Uh, do you need anything? No, um, I'll stay here and start vacuuming. Oh, great. I'll be back in half an hour. Are you sure we don't need any special ingredients for dinner tonight? <laughs> no, Chan is bringing something from the international food store later. Not that Chang again. Oh. Okay. Good. I'll, I'll see you later. Okay. Bye. Bye. See you. Here's the tea. Can you pass me the mug? Now, tell me all about the beauty center. Oh, marvelous. It was a wonderful idea. The mud treatment was good for my skin, and the thermal baths were so relaxing. You should try it. Did you have a massage? Massages and aromatherapy in all the rooms. I feel great. In fact, you should go there with Victor one day. Mm. What do you think? That's a good idea. Uh, so, it's not only for women. No, lots of men go there. It's a wellness center and a fitness center, too. I think Victor would enjoy it. I'll talk to him about it. Elena, I want to ask you something. Woman to woman. Of course, woman to woman. What do you think about Victor? Um, well, I like Victor. He's a friend, a good friend. I mean, as a woman, do you think he's handsome? Well, physically attractive. <clears throat> well, uh, yes, um, he's an handsome man. Are you attracted to him? Uh, I... Yes, he, uh, he's attractive. I, I like him. I'm a bit worried. Does he ever talk about his friends? Oh, yes. Uh, he often mentions his friend, uh, Paul. Paul? A friend? I've never met anyone called Paul. They go to the gym together. To the gym? What for? Exercise, swimming, you know, uh, working out on the exercise machines. I wonder who Paul is. Thanks for making the tea. <laughs> Give me a hug, dear. It's okay. <sighs> Hi, Elena. Hi, Agatha. How was your day at the beauty center? Oh, fine, fine. Mm. Have you just been to the gym? Uh, yes. How did you guess? Oh, with Paul. Actually, yes. But you don't know Paul. No, I don't. 
But Elena told me about him. We'd love to meet him. Why don't you invite him to supper one evening? I'll cook him a special meal. Of course I will, one of these days. So, did you like the changing we did while you were away? Yes, yes, great! Now, Victor, I suggested that you and Elena should go to the beauty center together one day. Uh, me? Uh, to the beauty center? Well, it's for men, too. Oh. And there's a fitness center. Well, I suppose you're right. Would you like to do that, Lena? Yes, I would. I, I'd love to. And uh, I might invite Paul to come, too. No! No! Just the two of you. That's the whole point. Can you peel the potatoes? Did you buy the steak? I'm starving. <laughs> steak and potatoes for me. Victor, forget the potatoes. We have to talk. You really should spend more time socializing. You must get out more. Go to the movies or something. But I have to prepare for my exams. Well, you can study during the week, not at the weekends. You must dedicate more free time to seeing your friends and making new friends. Like my new friend, Paul? No, no, I didn't mean him. You should take Elena out with you. She could practice her English. Well, I have to study a lot. It's my final year. I can't remember the last time you went out with a girl. You're not ugly, Victor. You do attract women's attention. I can't understand it. And you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Thanks for that. Where's the butter for frying? You don't need all that butter. You should use olive oil instead. It's better for you. I read an article in the newspaper about depression and the foods we eat. What we eat affects our personality and how we react to others. I know. If I don't eat, I'm not a nice person. Mm. Okay, I can't live on meat alone. Oh. There are the food groups. Breads, cereals, rice and pasta, poultry and fish. And you can't exclude eggs, vegetables, fruits, beans, milk. Yeah, yeah. You use too much butter. You don't have to give up your butter and chocolate biscuits. I'm just saying you should use less. It will help you to stay healthy and fit. And that's a good thing, isn't it? Sure. But you have to eat more vegetables. They're an important source of vitamins. I always have uh, tomatoes and olives on my pizza. Oh, dear. I can't help you. You should go to a doctor and have a checkup. That's enough. I, I can't take it anymore. You have to stop trying to control my life. You should respect my life and how I live it. I'm sorry. I just think that you should do things... You should. You shouldn't. You can't. You must. You mustn't. Not everyone is like you, Agatha, thank goodness. I don't have to explain my lifestyle to you. Oh, dear. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> oh, did I offend him? <laughs> Why do you have those bags? Where are you going, Agatha? I've already decided. I'm moving out. What? Now. You're leaving now. Where are you going? What? What has happened? Why are you moving out? <laughs> I don't want to disturb anyone. I think Victor and I need to lead separate lives. <laughs> Victor needs his freedom. <laughs> I'm so upset. <laughs> Not everyone has the same character. Elena, you're timid and shy. Victor's more reserved. Not everyone is sociable and outgoing like me. <laughs> uh. 
I'm too demanding. <laughs> now you're being dramatic. I don't fit in here. I'm leaving. I'm going to Betty's. Upset? Does it mean sad? Yes, uh, a combination of sad and angry. Perhaps you didn't like the new furniture Victor bought while you were away. She said she liked the bookcase. Anyway, you're not moving out. Don't be ridiculous. Where will you leave? <laughs> I'm going to stay with Betty for a few weeks. Then I'll decide. Are you two fighting? No. Well, we had an argument last night. You just have to respect other people's decisions more. That's all. You, you don't have to move out. I think Victor is saying you just have to give him more space. But you don't have to move house to do that. Agatha, it, it won't be the same without you here. It's just sometimes you're stubborn and selfish. But, but you're also very caring. Loyal, generous, funny. Funny like fun. Humorous. I'm demanding and bossy too, right? Listen, you two. I think we all have to calm down. I don't understand all the words you're using, but insulting each other is not going to help. Victor, you have a lot to do, and I am sure you've been a little anxious recently. Sorry, Agatha. When I'm studying for exams, I become very nervous. This is an important time for me. See? Agatha, he's apologizing, and I'm sure he's going to be kind and understanding from now on. Well, I wasn't swimming in the Thames. <coughs> the rain um, started while I was riding back from class. It's uh, still raining now. <coughs> oh, this weather's terrible. Come and um, get warm. There you go. Mm, is uh, Agatha home? No, she was on her way to uh, yoga when I came back from class. I hope you're not coming down with a cold. <laughs> Your hair's still wet. Mm. Here, pass me the towel. I'll dry it for you. Mm, thanks. That feels nice. Last night, when I came back from work, it was also raining. That's London. <laughs> if you move a little closer, I can reach the back of your head better. It's just me. Uh, are you okay? All's well. Uh, it's just the base near the door, that's all. Oh. I have to make a phone call. I'll do it from the other room so I don't disturb you two there studying. You don't have to. Um, mm. We can go upstairs. I, I, I can go to my bedroom. And Elena is, is better off drying her hair in the bathroom. Yes, of course. <clears throat> Tell Betty. <laughs> I can't wait. Good morning. May I speak to Betty Summers, please? Betty! You'll never guess! Betty? Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Wrong Betty. <laughs> Could you put me through to Betty Summers, please? She works in the accounts department on the second floor. Extension 566. Yes, I'll hold. Thanks. Betty, you'll never guess what my little brother was doing when I came home. <laughs> he was sitting on the sofa kissing Elena. <laughs> no, no, they were definitely kissing. It wasn't just a quick kiss. They were kissing when I arrived home. <laughs> Green tea or black, Agatha? Oh, green, please. 
It's supposed to be very good for you. You've never had green tea before, Agatha. You said it tastes bitter. Are you starting a new diet? No. I just think I need to be a little healthier. When I was a young girl, I loved watching Mother make afternoon tea. Her grandmother taught her how to make a proper pot of tea. <laughs> <laughs> when we were children, Agatha and Betty would help Mum make her special jam drop biscuits. Oh, what are jam drop biscuits? They're biscuits, which you push your thumb into to leave a little hole to put the delicious homemade strawberry jam into. Mm. Dad and I love them. Our cousins always had apple cakes with their tea, but jam drops were our favorite. Although Aunt Mary has always made marvelous jams. Mmm, mm, this tea is good. Oh, Mom sent it from Manchester. That's where our grandmother's from. She goes often to visit relatives and uh, old school friends. Oh, uh, where are you two from originally? Well, Mom's family is from Manchester, and Dad's from the U.S. We spent our school years living with uh, our dad's family in Arizona until he was transferred here with work. Then we lived in a flat in Flagstaff, mm. and we used to visit our granny, grandmother. Oh. On the farm in the country. Okay, guys, I have something to tell you. I've just been to the doctors, and... Oh, is, is everything okay? You have been ill a lot recently. Have you taken those vitamin pills I left on the table? Victor? I'm pregnant! <laughs> How long have you known? Have you told Harold? I've just spoken to him, although he's suspected for weeks. His transfer has just come through, and he's coming back to London for good! <laughs> That's fantastic news! <laughs> I wonder who that is. I'll go.